G'day everyone, Tim Thompson, welcome back. Today, I'd like to do a little bit of a trial. I know that recently Roundup has caught a bit of press because people have suddenly realized that as a chemical, it might be toxic. I wanna see what the latest competitors for Roundup in the organic space are actually like in a head-to-head -head comparison with Roundup. So we're gonna do ourselves a scientific trial on the back of the ute, stay tuned. Don't forget guys, if you like this video, please do hit the little subscribe button down there. Give us a thumbs up. You've got no idea how much that helps the channel. Let's get into it. So what are our contenders for this trial and what exactly is a trial? So let's go through the whole process. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be spraying Roundup, Slasher, Organic Weed Killer, and a commonly found recipe on all those sort of vegan home gardening sort of you know alternative websites of quarter of a cup of salt, quarter of a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid and one liter of white vinegar. They reckon that works just as well as weed killer. And then of course it wouldn't be a trial if we weren't using a control. So our control is going to be pure water. Now control in a trial is really, really important because it gives you something to compare against. How do we know the weeds didn't just die? So when we spray our little control area, what we're actually doing is two things. We're figuring out that yes, all the herbicides had some effect compared to an area that was just sprayed with water. And we're also double checking that when I clean out my spray unit, with bleach each time as I change chemicals that I'm not leaving residue in the spray unit. So it's gonna catch out any mistakes that I make. So a control has two va valuable functions for me in this trial. Number one is it makes sure that my method was actually good enough and that it, it actually controlled any overlap between the trials. And it also makes sure that the herbicides work and it's all not just coincidence. It also allows me to compare weeds that are growing normally with weeds that have been treated with each treatment. So a control acts as a point of comparison. So never do a trial at home unless you do a control. Now that brings us to how I'm going to be marking out this trial and how I'm going to be running it. So I have a different color spray paint for each chemical. So for example, Roundup, He's the bad guy of the trial. So he'll be the guy in black. Organic weed killer. Mean green, yeah? So they can be sort of vibrant fluoro green. Bit alternative, bit out there. The organic vegan website home gardening recipe. That can be shiny silver. So let's give that one a great big shiny silver. And water, well I think the natural colour for water is probably going to be blue, isn't it? So my trial areas that I'm going to be using water in, the post in front of that trial area is going to be painted blue, the post in front of the organic vegan website, that's going to be painted silver, the post in front of my organic herbicide is going to be painted lime green, and the post in front of my Roundup trial is going to be painted black. Now, where exactly am I going to be spraying this? So where am I going to be setting up my trials? This is my first bit of fence line here. Basically, I'm going to be spraying one panel with each treatment, so I need four panels. Roundup, organic weed killer, vegan website, and water. I'm going to be spraying the first post in each trial section with the color of the treatment. This area here sees a fair bit of shade during the day thanks to tree coverage. It has been treated with herbicide in the past. It has a reasonably even distribution of weeds along here. We've got some daisies, we've got some normal grasses, we've got some native grasses, stuff that's gone to seed, bit of flat weed in here. So it's got a good variety of growth to compare and it's reasonably even all the way along the fence. Which now brings us to our next trial area. This trial area here has not been sprayed with herbicide. I've mainly used brush cutting and mowing and grazing to keep the weeds down here. We have a few little tree seedlings coming up, so that'll make it interesting. Once again, we've got our daisies, we've got our normal grasses, a little bit of flat weed coming in here, not a lot. Um, and once again, fairly even grass growth, fairly even coverage all the way along the trial area. 
This also has the opposite aspect. So instead of an easterly facing aspect, like the last time, we have a northerly facing aspect. Always do a couple of replications of your trial because it might just be the area in which you're doing the trial creates a bias in your results. Now, of course, a trial wouldn't be a trial without personal protective equipment. So what we have here is a brand new set of chemical gloves. Non-absorbent footwear. Don't use leather boots when you spray chemicals because when your two-year-old sucks on the toe of your work boot, they'll get poisoned. Cotton overalls. Speed dealers. And last but not least, a carbon filtered gas mask. This one's brand new out of the box. Let's get into it. So before we start the trial, I thought I'd best quickly go through the process of triple rinsing because I'm triple rinsing before I even start to make sure that there's no contaminants in this spray tank from last time that'll bias the results of my trial on the first replication. First thing I do is I'm gonna three quarters fill my tank. Always three quarters fill your tank with water. Never add water to chemical, always add chemical to water because with some of these agricultural chemicals, you can get a really nasty reaction. It can splash up on you, you can get horrible vapors, all sorts of things. So always, even if it's just a backpack, three quarter fill it with water. Then we're gonna add our bleach. We're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. We're gonna agitate it slightly during that 10 minutes of time. And then we're gonna run it right through our spray nozzle. I'm gonna lock this off. That'll take about another 10 minutes for it all to drain out. And then we know that it's been, all the mechanisms been thoroughly bleached. Once that's happened, that's enough water now. Once that's happened, we then rinse it through twice more with water so that there can be, just a good amount of bleach, so that there can be no residue of herbicide between trials or in this case, before the trials occur. I'm gonna start with the water then I'm going to do the vegan mix. Then I'm going to go on and do the organic herbicide and I'm going to leave Roundup for last. So it can't be argued that, oh yeah, no, there must have been a bit of residue from the Roundup in the tank. I'm going to do both trial areas at the same time. So if I'm doing water, I'm going to spray the first bay on my first fence line and the first bay on my second fence line with the one treatment. Then I'm going to go away, triple rinse, come back spray with the vegan mix one fence line then the other and so on you'll get how it works so my first treatment today is water I'm going to apply water in all of my trial sites so the first thing I do is mark the first post with the dark blue color I've got water in the backpack from the tap I'm not wearing my mask for what I hope is pretty obvious reasons and I'm going to apply my water to the point of runoff so I'm just gonna walk slowly along the fence line, applying the water. Second trial site for water, same routine. Third trial site, mark and spray, same again. Now we're gonna get a little bit more serious. We're gonna apply the three recommended preparations using exactly the same method on exactly the same trial sites, just always one panel further on. And then we're gonna triple rinse the container between each treatment. Okay, so for the vegan concoction, I don't know whether I'm doing science or baking a cake, really. We have our vinegar, we have our dishwashing liquid, and we have our salt. And that gets applied directly to the spray vat. There's no dilution involved unlike all of the other preparations that we're going to be working with today. So what am I going to do? First up, one litre of white wine vinegar into the vat. Mmm, smells like chips. Then we add a liberal dose of one quarter cup. Come on, hurry up. One quarter cup of salt. Now straight away, in terms of using this as a herbicide, as a person that lives in Australia where we have a huge issue with salinity, the idea of applying that much salt directly to my soil just drives me insane. I would never use this where crops are involved because that amount of salt per square metre is gonna kill you. Then we're gonna add quarter a tablespoon. That'll work. We add quarter a tablespoon 
of dishwashing liquid. Now dishwashing liquid might seem strange, but it's quite common in herbicide mixtures to add a wetting agent to get it to stick to the leaves. Alrighty, there we go. Mix her up. I think we'll give her a little while to mix and then we'll go out and spray that the same on our three trial areas, one bay up from where we applied the water. Let's go. Okay, vegan mix, silver paint on the post, mix and spray. So now comes the part of the experiment where I have to start dressing like Darth Farmer. Interestingly enough, when you look up the SDS for both Slasher and Roundup, they're pretty much the same. They're a respiratory system irritant, they're a skin irritant, they're an eye irritant. So I'm wearing long sleeve cotton overalls, washable, plastic chemical proof gloves, speed dealers, breathing mask and waterproof boots. Which I've been wearing all along, I just don't wear, wear the boots when I'm not sack spraying, it's silly. Um, so once again, a litre of water into the backpack, we're going to put about three quarters of that in. Then we have a 70 ml per litre of water recommended rate for knapsack sprayers from Slasher. So we're just going to make sure that we get all of that into there. And now we'll go off and we'll spray our trial areas. And I'm quite excited to see what this little product does because I work in a school. And with all the um, sort of the hysteria, if you like, about Roundup and some well deserved criticisms. Um, there might well be a place for an organic herbicide in settings where the general public come into contact with surfaces quite regularly. So let's see how this works and then last but not least we'll do the roundup. Let's go! So last but not least, we have good old Darth Roundup. Now Roundup is required at 10 mil per litre. So I'm gonna be very, very careful measuring out this 10 mil. Here's my little measuring cylinder here. I'm also gonna add three quarters of my litre of water to the spray tank. Then I'm gonna add my Roundup then I'm going to rinse the residue of Roundup out because I'm dealing with such a small amount that uh, I've got to make sure I get it all in there. There we go. Okay. So, give that a little bit of an agitation. Get Mr. Blue all mixed up. So I hope you found that interesting guys, just to recap what we've done, we've tried out a control of water, a sort of a, a vegan website option for herbicide which was vinegar and salt with a bit of dishwater, we've used an organic herbicide that's available in retail stores called Slasher and we've compared that with Roundup Ultra Max, which is one of the latest variations of Roundup. We've applied all three of those chemicals at their recommended rate, and on each instance there was one litre of water in the knapsack sprayer, or in the case of the vegan option, one litre of vinegar. I'm really excited to see what happens because there's a lot of debate around alternates for herbicides, and there's a lot of reasons why people would be looking for alternates. Um, so if we do a little bit of a cost analysis on that as well, we break that down, we have a look at it over the next three weeks, uh, we should get some idea of how to go on our own properties. Okay guys, so it's been about 24 hours or a little bit over. Uh, I'd started this trial on the Saturday morning um, at about 11 o'clock I was doing the spraying. It's now the Sunday afternoon at around about 4 o'clock. So a little bit over 24 hours. Let's review the initial results. So we'll start out with the control and we'll go to all three sites. So site one, this is the control, obviously blue post. 
we used water um, so remarkably I know some of you may be shocked but there seems to have been little impact from the water being sprayed second one silver marking that's our vegan special um, there's a little bit I don't know if you can tell or not a little bit of brown scarring on this plant here probably a reaction to the salt a little bit of yellowing in the grass gotta say but overall when you scan over the whole plot uh, gotta say not much of a result there at all now we come to our organic herbicide and uh, so we'll have a look at this now now you can see straight away there's a lot of browning in this grass have a look at that I mean that grass is cactus uh, we scan along the whole test plot and you can definitely make out and see a brown line where we've sprayed here and we get up to the post here where we we finished off and you can see that there's definitely a lot of yellowing of leaves there that grass is not looking too happy at all and then we come up with the black post marking our roundup row and as you scan across the top of it you can't see a lot of change however I will point out if you have a look at this grass here uh, you'll see that it's starting to go a little bit yellow on the tips and uh, some of the blades are actually starting to sort of wilt over a little bit really early days for roundup normally you'd leave it a week to see what roundups up to okay so site number two obviously blue water nothing much is happening there come along now we've got the silver so this is the salt and vinegar mix here um, nothing much happening here maybe a little bit of browning of leaf and some of the grass there then we have green down on this post here and I can honestly say I'm beginning to see some browning off and some drying up like I would say after an hour or so of spraying spray seed or something similar to that you can see if we come in close you can see that grass is not looking happy um, then we come to the black post here round up you can see there's a bit of yellowing here on some of the broadleaf weeds um, you can see that this broadleaf weed here is starting to curl up you can see the leaves are sort of uh, not sure how close I can get but you can see some of the leaves are starting to, to wilt up there a little bit classic sort of roundup though it's taking its time it's going to be a few days yet before you see any results that organic stuff's looking like it's working pretty quick we're going up to site number three now so very quickly I'll run because I know you want to finish finish watching this YouTube video and go and see what's on Netflix all right so we've got water coming along here then we've got our or sort of our our salt and vinegar mix mm, makes it feel like fish and chips nothing much happening there then we've got our organic herbicide coming along here and oh my goodness have a look at this we've got blackening we've got necrosis happening in some of these oh look at that this broadleaf weed has really curled up uh, it's not looking too happy at all that was already dead don't be put off by that but have a look at this grass down here have a look at that it's really getting necrotic um, and that's seriously that's been just over 24 hours now we see the borderline we come here this is where I finished with the organic herbicide this is where I started with Roundup can you see the difference okay so once again not a lot of signs of stuff going on with the Roundup maybe a bit of this yellowing of the leaf here maybe some of them are starting to, to sort of curl up a little bit but no real early signs like if you didn't know that had been sprayed you wouldn't pick the difference that's one day okay so it's been about two and a half weeks since we started this trial and we've got the three sites to examine today and we've got some good results I think or at least some interesting ones so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you at each site site one site two and site three and I'm going to show you photos of the four different results the control the salt and vinegar the organic herbicide and then finally the roundup there has been quite a bit of rain some may argue that for a couple of the treatments that might have made a difference but my argument back is hey if it's going to kill weeds it needs to work even if it rains because this is supposed to be used outside so let's start with water now the salt and vinegar 
now the organic herbicide and now the Roundup and you can see there is a clear difference Roundup is certainly taking out the majority of the weeds the organic herbicide got off to an early start if you recall from our earlier video update but um, it's I think failed to really deliver the goods in terms of efficacy particularly when you consider you require seven times as much concentrate to do the job as you do Roundup. Remember it was 70 mils per litre as opposed to 10 mils per litre for the recommended rates that we based this on. Let's go to site two then let's go to site three and we'll sum it all up. Okay so now we're at site two and I'm going to show you the water control the salt and vinegar trial, the organic herbicide, and now finally the Roundup from this particular trial site. I think we're starting to see a bit of a trend, don't you? All right, let's go on to our third trial site. Okay, now we're at our third trial site. We're gonna show you water, the control. Now the salt and vinegar mix. Now the organic herbicide. Finally, the Roundup. I think what we can establish now is that there is certainly a trend developing, and that is that Roundup is by far and away the most effective of those four treatments on these particular three trial sites. Now, there are a few caveats. Maybe the organic herbicide or the salt and vinegar is more effective on a certain type of weed that's not represented at this site. Maybe following the manufacturer's recommendations for the correct amount to place in a knapsack sprayer didn't give each chemical the required boost. But I think overall, the methodology has been quite sound. I think to improve this trial, we could look at the amount of rainfall that, that, that falls after treatment for the, the four different trials. Um, and we could probably look at increasing the number of trial sites. But I think an early indication is that Roundup is going to be the clear winner for me in terms of me spraying my pathways and on my fence lines. However, I can see an application for the organic spray. I do look after some veggie gardens that are used in a school and I don't always want to weed all the time. Sometimes I do want to use a herbicide and I think maybe even though it's not quite as effective, the organic herbicide might have a part to play in looking after those plots because where people are concerned and the concerns about Roundup have been so severe in, in the media that maybe in that situation, even though it's less effective, if I use it more often, it might have a good control. So I'm going to give it a go. I hope that's been helpful, guys, and I love having a look at things and how they work. And my idea behind this whole video is to actually demonstrate how we can do proper trials on farms to actually see if the manufacturer's recommendations for certain products lives up to our use requirements. And hopefully this video has been an example of how you could set up a trial on your farm to find out which chemicals right for you. Until next time guys, if you like this video, please do hit the little subscribe button down there and the thumbs up. You've got no idea how much it helps the channel. I really enjoy putting these videos together and I hope you get some enjoyment from watching them. Until next time guys, I'll see you later.